We started out with the anthem on deceivingly deep fluffy sand with my child who is slightly over the weight limit for the seat on the anthem too he's about 53 pounds over the big back tires and it was more difficult than i expected i was kind of shocked by how tough this was after that for some reason i decided to try him over the small tires and i don't know i guess that was just for testing's sake after that we tried push and that felt like trying to make fetch happen it just wasn't going to happen, and I just needed to stop trying. For the sake of being thorough, I tried him in the seat over the smaller tires, and that was just just for trying to be thorough, and as you can see, that really wasn't too much better. If I thought pushing the Anthem was tough across sand, pushing the Graco across sand was like passing med school. It just wasn't going to happen for me. I tried it in the other configuration as well, and if even possible, it was even worse. You can see the back tires lifted clear off of the ground. Now you can't say I'm a quitter because I didn't give up on this one and I tried one more time. And after that I realized it was just time to pull. So I left the footage in here so you could see how quick it is, um, or like the method of flipping it to pull mode. And that is something I noticed that if you have a taller child, you may have difficulty and have to have them bend down to flip it over to the pull mode like I did. I just didn't want to bonk his head. Um, but the pull mode was definitely easier and actually felt quite comparable to the Anthem in pull mode. So I was really impressed by that. Even with my post sand test exhaustion, gravel was light years easier with the Anthem and it completely took this terrain like a champ. Pushing across the gravel was also surprisingly easy and completely manageable, so if you need to push rather than pull, I would say go for it. The Graco handled the gravel very well also, and this is the kind of terrain where those front locking tires are going to give you an advantage as well as on steep hills to prevent the speed wobbles. The push across the gravel was fine for the Graco, however I think the wider tires on the Anthem gave it a little bit of an edge. As you can see from the speed of my turkey trot, the Anthem did fantastic pulling across the grass, and I'm happy to report that in push mode it also did very well. Despite what I saw in the deep sand trials, I have to say the Anthem is still one of the best all-terrain wagons out there. The Graco fared very comparably to the Anthem on the grass. I mean, they both did very well. Um, at the end of the day, you can get the Anthem with 15% off with our subscribers code, and you can use a code from Bye Bye Baby as well. Get a percentage off the Graco, so both options have some savings. Moving on to a little side-by-side, -side, you can see here both of the wagons folded. They're both compact in their own ways, as taking the tires off of the Anthem really helps with making it more compact. The Graco is more short and stout. Now, as you can see, the handlebars are on opposite sides right now. That's because they push differently. The Anthem pushes uh, with the handle over the small tires and the big fixed tires are in the front. And the Graco pushes like a true stroller that has the small tires in the front. So the Anthem is going to push like a veer. It's going to push like a dolly. If you're used to um, like going to Home Depot and you, and you push a dolly, or if you went to like the supermarket and you pushed a grocery cart backwards, like from the small tires, that's how it's going to feel. Um, but I wanted to show you here, you can see the front release, that little peg over the tire on the Anthem, the silver peg, that's the release. And then you can see the gray um, button there on the Graco tire. And the thickness, the width of these tires uh, for the Anthem is about 2.25 inches, and for the Graco is about 1.5 inches. So here are the two wagons side by side. You can see um, the Anthem comes with a parent storage little container here and a cup holder, and the Graco doesn't come with anything like that, so you need to buy that aftermarket. Um, I wanted to show you the canopies. These are both of the canopies up. Now the Anthem canopies zip together. You can make kind of like a little enclosed tent. They both have mesh cutouts on the side. You can see both canopies have that feature. However, the Anthem canopies are a little more flimsy feeling. They don't necessarily stay up quite the same way. And I've seen people struggling with that sometimes that they don't necessarily um, stay up, that they're easy to knock down by the kids. Now the Graco, I was impressed with these because there is a solid bar going through here and they don't do that. Those babies don't budge, but they don't zip together. So that is a trade-off. Um, you can see in, 
in here that the Graco has a soft kind of cushiony seat on both parts, whereas the Anthem has a hard plastic seat on the bottom. Um, and the footwells you can see here on the Anthem, it's a hard bottom, it has a middle cage, and on the Graco, it is completely just like a soft little bag. So, this doesn't really have like a wipeable, like a rubbery kind of a thing like this one does. So they both have their own advantages. Um, I also wanted to point out that these, this, the backs of the Graco seats are just like a cushiony, cushiony little deal. And these are hard seat backs. They have a metal frame. So these are sturdier. And then this is where the car seat um, adapter attaches. But that's another difference there. Obviously there's the difference in the push style. Um, and some people really adjust well to the Anthem push style, whereas some people, um, it's not their favorite. I really like the pull method for the Anthem. It is really, really handy and it lifts up those back tires really well. So I just realized that there's a mud guard missing from my Graco. That one has no chancla. She's just shoeless on one side. So my apologies, I have to find it. I'm kind of alarmed. They were not the easiest thing to put on necessarily. Um, they, they went on firmly, so I'm not really sure why it just fell off. Another little difference is that the Anthem has one single brake that locks the two back tires by itself, whereas the Graco has two individual brakes that you have to lock individually. Um, I wouldn't say either of them is very curb hoppable. For obvious reasons, the Anthem is not. But for the Graco, like I mentioned in the review video, this is kind of a dangerous thing to be pushing down on very often, especially with a lot of weight in the wagon, so I wouldn't really advise that. So probably for both of these options, you're gonna want to pull them up over the curb. I guess one last thing that I'll mention about the brakes is these seem pretty flip-flop friendly. There's nothing really hard on them. Uh, I mean, you know, other than plastic, but it's not like a sharp edge at all. Those are rounded out really well. And there's nothing too sharp here really either. It's pretty rounded, but this is a lot louder. Oh my gosh, to engage. And it's like, it's, it's kind of stiff going down. Um, to release is not that bad, but like, or to move it up is not that bad, but to, to actually engage the brake is, is kind of um, tough. Engaging the brake on the Anthem isn't tough. It's just really loud and it's, you have to push down hard. Um, that's why it's so loud. But um, now I will go ahead and talk here about the back tires. These are the back tires for both wagons. And these are exactly the same width as the front tires on the Anthem. So that's gonna handle really well on different terrains. And the back tires on the Graco are just one half inch larger than they are in the front. So they're about two inches. The storage on the Anthem far exceeds the Graco storage, in my opinion. On the Graco, there's just like little pouches on the front and back. There's nothing that comes for the parent, and there's nothing inside the wagon for your child. However, on the Anthem, you know, you have this great basket, you have four pockets on the inside for your children, and then you have these two storage containers for parents. Um, so I think that that's a really fantastic advantage to having um, the the Anthem over the Graco. And I have done a hack where I found that the Anthem basket actually fits perfectly on the Graco. It fits so, so nicely. So if somehow you can get a hold of one of those and you have a Graco, that's gonna work really well for you. Here you can see the snack tray on the Graco, very basic. Um, doesn't really have an option for like both kids to have a section, but each kid can have a cup holder. And on the Anthem, it's definitely more spacious. Each kid has a section, each kid has a cup holder. And I also checked and it's wider than the Graco one. So it seems a little more spacious in that regard as well. Um, they both unattach pretty much exactly the same way. And that's why I wanted to test if they could fit interchangeably, but they don't. Moving from push to pull on the Anthem is very easy. You can do it one-handed. You just push the handlebar forward a little bit with one hand. And, and then you pull up on those levers with your fingers. Uh, whereas on the Graco, you have to push both of those buttons on either side, so it requires two hands for sure. And then you have to push the, the bar all the way down to unlock it, and then you can flip it to the other side and then extend the canopy again so that it can lock into place. So it's a little bit of a task. Whereas for the Anthem, you wanna pull this up a little bit, pull it with your fingers, and you're ready to go. See the folding mechanism on the Graco. I recommend that you check out our review video. We do it step by step right in front of you. I do prefer the fold mechanism on the Anthem. Mine is kind of hard to use. It's kind of stiff, but it's easier. I mean, 
all you do is you move this to the side. There's a button underneath that you squeeze at the same time. And then the whole walls of the wagon collapse down. The seats push in and uh, you have to take that off. But, and then you can go ahead and do the same maneuver that you do to drop it into pull mode. And this baby comes down and locks it into place. So the Anthem is definitely easier to fold down in my opinion. The only downside that I think is a little bit surprising to me is that the tires, the front tires on the Graco lock in place, which is really great for um, uneven terrains and if you're moving quickly. However, on the Anthem, that doesn't happen. For such an all-terrain wagon, I was a little surprised by that. Um, maybe in the future, they'll add a front locking tire option. I wanted to show you a comparison of the canopy coverage between the two, but I cannot get this to stay up. Okay, okay. So just when they're regularly engaged and they're not zipped together, this is how the coverage looks. Um, the nice thing is that these do zip together, but you have to like use two hands. Obviously I can't do that right now, but you gotta use two hands and then you zip them and it's very taut. Um, and so I would just be a little bit careful because even when I was doing the unboxing on this one, the, the button snapped off. You can see right here that there was a button there and it's stuck here forever because I'm not gonna peel my nail to get that off. But I'm not sure, maybe they can reinforce these canopies somehow or something, but honestly, I don't really know what that button was even for. I was just testing it because it obviously looks like it goes there. Maybe just to keep this from like flapping around. But yeah, I feel like the, the coverage when you zip it together is a really, really nice option. Um, and I just hope that Graco comes out with some more options as far as accessories in the future. I think it's gonna very be a popular wagon. It's well-built, it's sturdy um, and so hopefully that becomes an option because this, this idea to enclose it all together is fantastic. Feel free to pause this and take a look at it longer if you want to look at the details. I just wanted to point out three things. One, the Graco handlebar is extendable, whereas the Anthem handlebar is not. So I have included all three measurements for the Graco handlebar to its tallest height. Um, two, I also wanted to include that the seat to canopy ratio, take a look at that because you get some good height on that Graco canopy. And three, the Anthem is a banging deal considering everything that they include uh, accessories wise and all the storage that you get um, for, for the price difference and the fact that you can use a coupon on each of these to get additional savings. You get a lot of accessories and a lot of bang for your buck out of that Anthem. That is going to be it for our comparison of the Graco Modes Wagon and the Anthem 2 Wagon. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. If you're not on our Instagram, I highly recommend you follow us at Stroll and Soda Pops. We have, as of the time of this filming, we have a giveaway going right now for Father's Day for a Pronto V1. So I highly suggest that you follow because we do giveaways like this throughout the year and we would love to have you. So please like, share, subscribe, all the good things, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. And make sure to push the like button and push play for another video. See ya!